Hello, this is Mark Kazakowski. I wanted to share a few CATIA v5 tips. First, we'll go to the extrude command. We'll pick the center sketch. We would then go into our dialog box and key amounts here or here or go up to element. Instead, we'll pull a little green dot that appears in each corner of the extrude. Hit OK. If we need to modify, we'll double click on it. We can then pull those surfaces out more. This also works on many other items in CATIA such as revolve, cylinders, and spheres. Next we'll look at a time saver with the corner command. We'll click on the corner command like most people do and select two lines and then indicate to create the corner. Uh, do it one more time here. We will then pick all three dimensions and then do a selected objects, edit, edit equivalent dimensions, and key in a figure. However, the easier way to do it would have been to just select the three remaining corner points, go to the corner command, key in the amount, 12, and click, and it's complete. We'll now look at the split command and how we can combine various items in one split to clean up the tree. We'll first click on the split command, We'll then pick our main surface, an extrude, a profile, and a plane. All three of these items now appear in the dialog box. We click OK, and it's complete and clean. The next command we'll take a look at is called the only current body command. Where we'll switch to body 5 first here. Then we'll click on the only current body command. As you can see, it'll filter everything else out. We then can put a pocket in body 5 here. And of course, again, much easier to see. The pocket is in. And now we can toggle everything else back on. Next, while in Sketcher, we'll click on a command called the Centered Rectangle command. We'll then click on the Sketch Center, indicate roughly where we want it, throw a few dimensions on it. And now we have a completely centered rectangle about the sketch axis. Tree management is a vital part of modeling. As you can see, we have a pretty linear uh, tree here. Um, we'll select a few items that we want to put in our own body. We'll then go to Selected Objects and Insert and New. So you can see it adds an assemble and a new body, which can now be named appropriately. We'll take a look at one item in the spline command. We'll click on the spline command and create a spline by clicking and creating points. As we enter our last point here, we'll right click and do a close spline. This now can be modified accordingly. I want to talk to you a little bit about the polyline command, which I just selected. Polyline is great for creating tubes when the tube command is not available. Select points as shown and line segments are generated. You then key in radius values at each of the intersection points. It's important to note that these radius values do not need to be the same. Once those values are entered and you hit OK, your polyline is now complete. A typical polyline will reduce the number of items in your tree by 5 to 10. You can split this surface with solid body entities. We'll show some blocks right now that we want to use to split this yellow surface with. We'll now pick the split command and the main yellow surface. We'll pick only one of the pads in the tree. As you can see when these blocks are hidden, only one area was trimmed. That's one option. We'll double click on our surface and change that by removing that pad and then picking the two bodies. Then we'll have to do an other side to trim and split properly. As you can see when we hide the blocks, this surface has been split by solid body entities. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that in some way it has helped you.